Hello everybody, welcome back. So this is my everyday makeup drawer. This is all the stuff that I use um, on a daily basis so I don't have to reach too far and wide to grab something. So this desk is from Walmart. I will link it if I can. And it's it's literally a computer desk or like a entryway kind of table desk. But uh, yeah, that's what this is what I've been using and so um, we're gonna pull some stuff out of here that we're gonna put back in and then I will do the rest of the shop my stash kind of thing. So this is part of my declutter. I'm just gonna give you a sneak peek. There is a bit of this empty and I'm really excited about that. So that is going to stay. This is part of my shop, of my project pan that's staying. This is also part of my project pan. This is staying. Okay, so let's kind of go over into here. This always stays in here because it's just an eyeshadow palette that I've always loved. I used to buy it all the time, but now that I am cruelty free, Maybelline is not cruelty free and you cannot get it. I don't purchase this anymore, but I still like to use it. This is the, I'm still going to tell you what it is. This is the Sunbake Neutrals. Um, expert eyeshadow and I last time I checked I couldn't find this so maybe they just don't make it anymore but it's one of the best neutral eyeshadow palettes from the drugstore back in the day and I couldn't imagine more people I didn't know why they didn't talk about it so this will always be in here this I'm going to pull out of here because I used to use it all the time but I kind of stopped so maybe I'm getting over it but I'm not going to declutter it this is the it's kind of this, it's the exact same one Tati mentioned in her video, but I got mine in like a Target beauty box and it's the sleek, um, when the sun goes down eyeshadow palette, it's like really super tiny. So that can go back in and then this is the um, IB eyeshadow. This is actually really pretty, it's really something that um, is really super simple on the go eyeshadow. So I'm gonna put that away because I just haven't been getting a lot of use out of it lately. And then, so I have an eyeshadow base in here. It's just the um, NYX Professionals little um, white pearl base. So I'm gonna keep that in here as well. So I'm gonna just put that over there. This is a ColourPop eyeshadow in the color Eye Candy. I really like this because it's just super simple. If I put the eye, if I put this on and then this, it's just super simple. Kind of, and so then these four eyeshadows I always keep in here. They're all hit. They've all hit pan except for one, and I just use them almost on a daily basis. These two are essentially the same. One's just newer than the others, and this one is just like my first most favorite transition shade. It's like Naked from Urban Decay, but from Maybelline. And all of these are Maybelline shadows, so these will all stay in here. I'm just gonna put them in here. This Trina Tarantino shadow stays in here. This MAC one, I'm gonna keep in here as well. And then I have Brulee. These two I'm actually going to pull out. This is the Foiled Again eyeshadow from The Balm. And then I have something from Laura Geller. It's just a baked marble eyeshadow in Toasty Pink and Berry Flambe. Mm -hmm. okay, all of those can stay in here. Let's see if I can put them back in here in a decent manner. That like that. And this. And this. Hey, how beautiful. How beautiful. Okay, this I'm going to put back in. This is just a clean color little blush. It's like a Miss Cheek blush. Clean color is cruelty free, which is really awesome, but this is a really bright summery blush. So I'm just gonna put that away for now and <laughs> we shall see. So I have this uh, um, It Cosmetic CC Cream. These I don't really put in my shop my stashes because that drawer is like literally right next to me. It's at the top. It's like almost my almost my second everyday drawer. So I just kind of keep this like it is and then I have Two mascaras in here, well three. One's almost out the door. This one from Bella Pierre Volumizer Mascara. It's almost gone, but I didn't really like it, so. Then I have um, some concealers that I'm trying to finish up, which are almost gone, and I will talk about them, but they're all staying in here anyways. This is, before I do the, uh, the concealers, this is the Brow Gal um, 
little brow mascara, but I'm just gonna put it with my brow stuff anyways, cause it's there. And then I have Bicel Touche Clot. This my husband got for me in a hus in a <laughs> Sephora like gift set box, so I like to use that. I won't purchase it again. And then I have Age Rewind from Maybelline. This is old. Neat. I'm trying to finish it up. It's like trying to finish multiple products at once. It's like nothing's ever gonna leave. It seems like. I have CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. CoverGirl is cruelty free, but this, um, it's a pretty good concealer. I've used CoverGirl con this concealer kind of sort of for a long time anyway, so I, I like it. This is almost gone however you want to say it, but it has just a little bit use left, so I'm just like almost done with that. And it's Revlon Photo Ready. Revlon's not cruelty free, so I will not purchase that again. And then I have some mascaras. So three MAC blushes. I'm just going to put all of these back just because I've been kind of using them up and I just feel like I'm ready for some new ones. They're all basically kind of in the same color family. So I'll put those away. I don't know what's going on here, but it's really messy. It's like a pink sponge, pink something fell apart. That's good. <laughs> this is a dark circle concealer from... NYX, almost gone. I'll just keep that, finish that up. And so I have this from Laura Geller. I'm going to put this away as I break it. Put this away. This is just a um, Espresso Yourself Baked Eyeshadow. It's really, really good. Super simple, but it's just, that's what it is. It's super simple. This always stays in here. It's just a philosophy. This is actually one I need to put back because I have one I've used up more and I need to finish that one. This is the Philosophy Grace Highlighter. It's really, really pretty. It was from Big Lots forever ago and I bought so many of them because they're just so beautiful. And I don't know if you can get this anymore. I will link it if I can, but I'm gonna put this right here in the center so that I can put it away. This I've been loving recently, so I'm gonna keep it in. This is the Wet n Wild Fergie. Center Stage Collection to Reflect Shimmer Palette. And this is the Rose Gold Go Rose Golden Goddess. Oh my gosh, I spiritual bitch. What the heck? I'm having like a problem. This is <laughs> a really gorgeous thing. I just like to put it on the backs of my cheeks and put it like a bronzer highlighter combination. I'm gonna put that right there. This is um MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in hot in light flush. And this, I'm actually getting pretty close to hitting pan on, so I'm gonna keep it in here. It's not on a project pan or anything, but I'm just really nice to see something get a little bit used up. And yes, this I love. This is the Vincent Longo um, Beauty Sin Face and Body Bronzer. It's so beautiful. It's very like an hourglass veil, and it's just, it's almost more beautiful than that. It gives you such a beautiful ethereal glow and I'm gonna put this back but I absolutely love it. This I'm actually just gonna declutter because I like it but I just every time it's in here I never touch it so I'm just gonna declutter it. So it's just gonna go to another home and then this I'm going to put back but I actually really like it. It's the Lorac Hollywood Baked Satin Blush and when I first got this, I've said this before, I was so intimidated by this. It did not look like it did online, but every time I wear it, I just love it. It's a beautiful bronze per glow, and it's not too much. This I will keep in here. I really do like it. It's just a different color, and so I can have something else in here. This is the blush um, from Lancome in Shimmer Tamarind. I'm not really sure how to say that. I feel like every time I say it, I, can't, I don't say it right. And then I have Better Skin um, Translucent Powder from Maybelline. I'm, I'm almost done with this, so I'm just gonna keep it in here and finish it up. You can see that there is a good chunk of pan showing. And then I have, this is part of my project pan, and I would show you, but I don't wanna give it away, but it's gonna stay. What do we have in here? I have a... The bad part about this is this drawer doesn't pull out very much and it goes pretty far back. Like, I'm touching the back of it right now. Oh my, the rest of my hand is in there. This is the So Susan Cosmetics um, 
loose eyeshadow. It's just a really nice purple shade. So. Oh, and then I have a blush back here from, from CoverGirl. And this is the CoverGirl um, True Blend Blush in, uh, what's the shade of it? Deep Mauve. That's the color. But I'm going to pull that. So all of this stuff, I've pulled half of it. So I'm going to put the rest of it back. And then we can go through and get some new stuff. I want that to be like that. So I'm going to put that like that. Concealer, eyeshadow base. Actually. Well, I guess only the MAC blushes fit in there. So I'm going to put this like this. And then this like this. wipe my hand off because it's kind of messy. Kind of messy. Alright, so I decided to hold the camera to make it a little bit more like personal. You can kind of see it from like my point of view. This is like all my singles and like little little tiny palettes. Like I have a lot of wet and wild ones and I love them. <laughs> I just can't. It's, I parted with a couple of them and I kind of at the same point had like a little bit of decluttering remorse. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick maybe a couple single shadows because why not? So I have some, these are Maybelline right here. Some of those. This, okay, so I'm thinking I want to pull actually one of these palettes. This is the Essence. Um, all about whatever palettes. So I have rose, nudes, bronze, and vintage. So I think I'm gonna pull bronze. Doesn't that look really pretty? So let's put that right there. Pull that for now. And then what else do we have over here? Um, ooh, let's pull one of these. So I have Wet n Wild and then there's uh, Milani. I think I'm gonna pull this one. This is the um, AR palette from the Zodiac uh, from Wet n Wild. So I'm gonna pull that. So those are those. And then I have some singles. A lot of this, I haven't bought, a lot of brands haven't come out with singles in a long time. So it's like single shadows is unheard of nowadays. So, you know what? I have actually never used this, so I'm gonna pull this. So, there's that. I already have quite a bit of shadows and I have other stuff to pick from, so let's go on down here. This is, so, this is my foundation. This is the singles and stuff. And then in here I have kind of a random assortment. Back here I have palettes and such. So I'm going to actually pull one of these palettes because I haven't really used very much of them since I did this Shop Miss A kind of thing. So I have this and then I have this blush palette. We'll just pull both of them. So pretty. And then I have uh, some cream shadows. This is one of the e.l.f. Um, like pots, smudge pots, and this is in the shade Brownie Point. So I'm gonna pick this one, see how pretty it is. And then let's kind of dig through and pick something that I haven't used in a long time. some of these elf I think they're probably jumble eye pencils and I'll go through them at a later date but uh, I think I'm gonna pull this one 
This is a Mally Evercolor Shadow Stick um, Extra, and I haven't, I used it the other day, and I really liked it, but I had one that was like a little one, and I don't know what happened to it. It's from something, some other brand, I can't remember. But I'm gonna pull this one. And there's some stuff back there. But I'm gonna just leave it, because I have all that right there so far. And, oh, if you wanted to see, I've talked about these in the past, but these are the Lorac, like, they came out with them two years in a row for Christmas, and I got both the sets. These are like chocolate bars, and I just love the way they like, look. I think I'm gonna keep those forever. <laughs> And then in here, this is um, uh, bronzer and highlighters. So I have some cream stuff over here. It's kind of getting jumbled up because I'm kind of almost running out of room. But I think that's kind of not really a big, big giant issue if you think about it. It's not that big of an issue. Okay, so I'm kind of just going through here and picking some... Looking at what I've got. Ooh, this is something I haven't even taken out of the box. This is the Smashbox crystallized thing. I haven't even used it yet, so it's like super exciting. Um, I have the highlighters in the Shop Miss A stuff, but I think I'm gonna pull these. They're really, really pretty, and I haven't used them very much, and I'm gonna pull both of these and put them up there, and then I'm gonna pull one of these. When I've been thinking about these, the Wet n Wild stuff. I'm gonna pull this one. This is the air one. I'm pulling a lot of the air stuff, so that's kind of fun to revisit that stuff. And then let's pick a bronzer to use up a little bit of. Not a little bit of, a lot of bit of. Actually, I'm gonna pull this because I haven't used it in a long time and it was actually really good and it's really subtle so it's quick for every day. This is the Caramel Toffee Wet n Wild Contour Palette and the highlighter and then a contour. So there is that. So that is that that I'm pulling from this drawer. I have some highlighters and one bronzer and I already have some bronzer stuff that I'm using. I have a hula that's actually depotted in a thing and I need to finish that but it's like for some reason will not go gone. So I've been looking in here and I want to pick this because I haven't ever gotten a chance to use it. This is the Flower Beauty Blush Balm and I've been hearing about it. So this is in the shade Nectar and hearing some stuff about this and I'm really excited. I really like Flower Beauty. They're really a really, really great reputable brand and I really need to get this some use. So that needs to go out and then some stuff that I need to use up that I just am not. I'm just a lazy bum. Just kidding. I just I love makeup, so I have some. I have some to spare. Okay, this one I actually haven't gotten use out of, and it's kind of a shimmery one, and it's it's newer. I got in a boxy charm. And I love Laura Geller baked stuff. So this is the Tropic Hues baked um, blush from Laura Geller, and I'm gonna pull this because I haven't used it very much, and I'm excited to try it. And then something that I haven't actually used in a long time. Let's pick something. I was thinking about this. I was thinking about this the other day. This is a Sony Kashuk blush. I'm definitely gonna pull this. This is flushed, beautifully blush from Sony Kashuk. It's super pretty. Can't get this anymore. Sony Kashuk really changed their brand a lot. So yes, so that, and I think I'll pick one more blush. I have a lot of palettes back here, but they are what they are. I mean, I'm not saying that they suck, but I just haven't. I'll pull those on a little. You know what? I'm pull, I'm thinking about this, and I feel like this is what I want to pull. This is a Trina Tarantino blush, uh, and blush palette. It's so pretty. It has really great shades in it. Let's see if I can open it with one hand. I'm trying. And this is the shades in here. So beautiful. I'm going to pull it and put it in one of the empty drawers that we emptied in the last video. And that will be really fun. Alright, okay, so that is what I'm going to pull for that. And then down in the last drawer here is a shadow palette. So I think I'm just going to pull one. And that's just about it. I'm not gonna pull any because I'm using, I have one in a project pan and it's really hard for me to use up 
palettes, so that's why I pulled more. I already pulled a palette too, so. So the one I've been thinking about a lot actually is this one from The Bomb, and I already have some dents made in this, so I'm gonna think I'm gonna pull this one and see what I can do with that. So that's it, it has a foundation or concealer on it. Doing great, doing great. And then this, oop, we dropped something. This is a Riviera Rear palette I have yet to use. And then this is something I got from off of the Ulta Sale Toasted palette. This wasn't on sale, but I had a bunch of points, so kind of was on sale, so. Okay, so this is all the stuff that we have pulled for my shot my stash. I'm gonna put it away and then I'll show you what it looks like put away. All right, all right, so I put everything away. I have the highlighters in here. I have the cream shadow, the cream blush, and um, the Laura Geller blush in here. So there is that stuff. And then I also have my stuff from my shop, from my um, project pan. And then here in this bottom drawer, I have the Torina Tarantino palette. I have the two Shop Miss A palettes. I have the eyeshadow from Essence and Wet n Wild and the Wet n Wild contour. And then I have both eyeshadow palettes, the one I pulled for the Shop My Stash, and then I have the um, one in my project pan. And then this like all miscellaneous kind of primers and stuff that I'm trying to like use up or serums or whatever. Okay, and then that is the end of that. Guys, that's gonna be into this video. If you like videos like this, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe before you leave if you like videos like this. And I'll take you to the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.